What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews and welcome to the first episode of my new series I'm starting which is basically a thermal paste showdown. So I'm going to be hopefully going through all the thermal pastes out there. I'm going to try and work through them, uh, buy new ones when I need to, um, but I have quite a lot as it is. Um, so we're going to basically do a, a full series and we're going to be finding out which is the best. Uh, and to kick, top, kick start that series, uh, today we're, first of all we're going to start off with Arctic MX4 which is a tried and tested uh, one that people use all the time. We're going to be comparing that with the MX-5 and the MX-6 as well. Um, so we put all these th three together um, to give us a start on our leaderboard. Uh, and then from, from now on, from the next episodes, we're going to be doing a, a different thermal base each time. I've got a whole range from Thermal Grizzly. I've got stuff from Gamdias. I've got stuff from Thermal Right. Uh, I've got lots of different ones. Um, so we're going to be start off with these three and then we'll, uh, we'll get on to... Uh, the rest of them and we'll see basically hopefully by the end of it we'll see which is the best thermal paste out there uh, and you'll have a full sort of table leaderboard as to which is the best um, so let's just quickly uh, introduce this and explain what we're doing um, so we're going to be using my test system here it is an old test system it is using a 1700x obviously it's not a current gen cpu um, however it's still you're going to be able to see a difference between the different thermal pastes. Um, so it doesn't really matter. So you're still going to see the best one. The best one that performs on this should be the best one that performs on a 5900X, 7900X, 3900K, things like that. Um, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, we're going to be using the same cooler every time, obviously. So we've got a uh, constant. Uh, we're going to be using the Salentium PC Fortis 5. Um, just going to use it with just one fan on this. You can take two. Um, so we're going to be sticking uh, a 140 fan on this. And the reason I've chose this is mainly because it's really easy to uh, remove and install. Um, just two bolts now, I've got the uh, mounting bracket on there. So we, yeah, we're going to use that, pop that on there, and we're going to test it with Cinebench, so we'll give you a worst case scenario, uh, and basically we'll give you an average and a maximum, um, and hopefully that will tell you which thermal paste performs the best. Um, so let's get into that, I'll do some testing, and then at the end, obviously, I'll talk about uh, the results, and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so we've got the testing done on the MX4, MX5 and MX6 and uh, basically I've got the results here. So what I've done is a five minute run multi-core on Cinebench and I've taken both the maximum and the average and the idle temperatures to give you a full idea of the uh, sort of the, the performance of all these thermal pastes. Obviously I've also taken ambient temperature so I'll be showing the graphs over ambient um, which makes it obviously fair because it did get warmer and warmer as tests went on. Went on. Um, so it's only fair to give you the over ambient temperature so you can see exactly how they perform. Um, so let's uh, start off with MX4. Um, well, basically I'll talk you through all of them. So MX4, uh, the ambient in the, in the room when done MX4 was 23.4, as was with the MX5, and it, the MX6 it was 23.6 in here, so it got a little bit warmer towards the end. Right, the maximum on the MX4 was 64 degrees, the maximum on the MX5 was 64 degrees, and the maximum on the MX6 was 62 degrees, so you see we dropped two degrees there. The MX5 performing no better than the MX4. Then if we look at the average results, um, 59 MX4, 59 MX5, and 57 MX6, again, these are the two degree drop, it makes sense. Um, idles are all the same at 38 degrees, um, which is pretty much normal. However, obviously because of the temperature ambient being uh, higher in here at the time, then the MX6 did perform better because it was 0.2 degrees warmer in here. So it's not a lot, but it was a, a better. So let's talk about over ambient temperatures. Um, so MX4 and MX5 were both 14.6 degrees over ambient in their idle, and the MX6 was 14.4. Going on to the maximum, um, MX4 and MX5 are both 40.6 degrees over ambient, whereas the MX6 was 38.4, so almost uh, just over a degree, uh, sorry, two degrees cooler than the MX4 and 5. And then the averages, obviously, is going to be pretty much the same in terms of two degrees difference. 35.6 for both MX4 and MX5, and 33.4 for the MX6. So as you can see, the MX6 is definitely an upgrade over the MX4 or MX5. Um, I have recent, I was wondering why the MX5 wasn't performing so well. I've read up on it a little bit, uh, and I've realised that actually they discontinued the MX5 because they had some bad uh, batches that weren't performing properly, I don't think. Um, so they've actually discontinued that. You can't buy that anymore. Uh, unless there's obviously stock left available elsewhere. Um, but you can't buy that as is, it's not being made anymore, and that's why they brought out the MX6 so soon. Um, so we've got the MX6 is basically the winner so far. That's going to be at the top of the, the leaderboard, and the MX4 and MX5 are going to be just below it. 
And then obviously, like I say, this is a series, so we're going to be carrying on looking at more. Um, I've got some more coming very soon. So if you enjoyed this series and you want to carry on and find out more, find out which is the best thermal paste and obviously keep up to date. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon and you'll be notified when they go live. And obviously if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Any comments in the comment section below, any uh, particular thermal paste you want me to test, then give me a shout and I'll do that uh, as when, I, when I can. Um, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, stick with me and let's see some more thermal paste and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.